Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got a couple of decent welding jobs, uh, a brazen or a serving job. I get the vice handle finished for the mill machine uh, vice, and I start to put some weight covers on the mill machine to try and stop some of the, the crop getting onto the feed screw. Um, I have spent quite a bit of time cleaning that up and adjusting it and setting it up. I'll show you some of that. As quite a few more names come in for the monthly draw into the bucket. If you haven't entered the draw, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. And your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post the prize off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. There's a derelict windmill uh, on an old farm near to where I work. Uh, I was driving past there this morning and I had the camera on the car, so I thought I'd go and have a look. I've always wanted to look around it, but it's always been badly overgrown and they've cleaned all the overgrown stuff away because I'm going to try and develop it anyway. I get a few shots of that inside, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, I hope you find it interesting, I absolutely did. After some serious thought, that can only ever be one shape for the handle for me, new vice handle, and that's it. So I'll be able to put it on, whack the belly in with a hammer to tighten it up, and it'll be just a job. And we're well on to the end of there. A little bit of work felt it up with a grind on, it should be good to go. Right now to give it a try, it's certainly got a nice feel to it. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. I don't think it would give any problems. Quite a nice robust little tool, just in nice proportion, perfect for the job. I've got a motorcycle fuel tank mountain which is made out of bronze. Somebody's trying to repair it by oxycetylene or oxyfuel brazen, yeah using brass. I'm going to try and repair this, the ideal way is to take braze it but the trouble is with the, the brass, I'll have to remove that because if you go in the brass with TIG, it just explodes the zinc boils out of it. So I'm going to remove that big snot of brass there 
and see if I can make a better job of repairing it. It's also got a little crack there that needs repairing. This is the first time I've used my nice new Makita die grinder. I'm sure it won't be the last. Right, as you can see, I've done a fair bit of damage to it now. I think I've cut all the, the brass out down to a nice version of clean metal. So we so can fasten it together properly. That worked out quite well. You can see the, the filler metal is the same colour as the base metal, proper bronze. Very happy with that. I was using the Miller machine the other night and I noticed I was getting quite a vibration and chatter with it. And I got a hold of the table and I found some play. So I've adjusted all the games up, I've given it a good clean. Now is an ideal opportunity to put a cover on here. If you all remain, I kind of sent us one of these convoluted covers which I'm going to actually mount onto the front of here. I'm going to mount it probably onto the top of this scale because you can drill and tap into there, no problem at all. And in the bottom here, I'll bring the camera on where you can see a little bit better. There's actually some little 4mm threads in there, or 5mm threads in there in there what you use to pull out those locating dowels so I've been to use those to locate some brackets to mount the bottom on I don't want to drill any holes in the machine if I can possibly help it the table actually comes all the way out to touch there when I first got the middle machine it stopped in here somewhere and I cut a big lump of that out to get the full travel 
so it does come all the way to the end there's a lot less play in this now we've adjusted the nuts as well because the, the nuts are adjustable aren't your backlash nuts right so that's all the way to the end it doesn't matter about the, the stuff draping across here because I don't use that anyway so I was there's also a piece coming at the mountain up there to cover the back just to try and protect this thread and protect the wheels on the machine so I think the first thing I'll do will be to cut this down to size I don't need it as wide as it is and I'll mount it onto there first something like that probably cut it down to there I'll get a better strip of material something a little bit less flexible and that will go onto there like that and then we can sort the mount out for that obviously it's a lot a lot bigger than I need I don't need anywhere near that much material I hope the wife doesn't watch this and see what's happening with her I said I'll still not be happy at all Right, so that's going to be mounted on there like that I'll see what strips of decent material I've got to mount it with that's a little bit flexible mount this top part first and then go from there I wonder how many people realise that I can't mount it on there because that bastard moves the table so it's going to have to be mounted in here somehow this makes it a little bit more difficult this is the site of an old farm it's really a hundred yards down the road from the garage I work at the site's all been cleared off because I'm going to develop it on the site there is an old windmill I've always been intrigued to go and have a look and now it's all been cleaned off I'm going to have a walk down and see exactly what's in there and this actually was used as a house in the 1950s but it has been derelict for a lot of years there is access to it so we'll go and have a look and just see exactly what's in there house type building here no roof on it and this leads into the, the entrance so you can see the, the roof's in a bit of a state there's an old fireplace here looking up that's not very good not really a good place to be spending a lot of time piers have had three floors Sooner we're out here, the better. Quite amazing. It's where the stairs have been. Light and conductor. See you. Good front door. 